much to your London King's Cross line, we will terminate. Today I'm sharing all the elegant and timeless pieces I found at And Other Stories, Reese, Whistles and H&M with my shop with me. So sit back, relax and let me try to take the effort out of your next shopping trip. First to my outfit of the day, I'm wearing my Massimo GT coat as it's a little bit cold on the train. I've got my jeans on, my lovely silk blouse, and finished with my super comfy trainers for on and off the tube. And not forgetting my very chic looking surgical mask. I am actually exempt for medical reasons, but I do try and wear it as much as possible. So first up, I headed to Whistles and found this really lovely, very simple cotton jumper. Now tie-dye, of course, is one of the underdog trends that we saw for summer 2021. And I think Whistles have perfectly captured that trend, just given a nod to it in a really wearable fashion with this jumper. I think the aqua green tone they've used is gorgeous, it's really pretty, and I particularly like that oversized fit. I've been eyeing this dress since I first saw it released, so I was really chuffed to spot it in store so I could have a try on. Now I'm not one for tight dresses at all, however there are some styles that I much prefer when they fit a little bit tighter, and this broderie on glazed tea dress would be one of them. So I sized down to a UK 8, and I think it being a little bit tighter across the chest and upper waist really shows off my shape a bit better, and thankfully not getting too tight across my arms in the process. The cotton broderie is beautiful and adds a really pretty detail around the neckline, sleeve and hem edges. And of course, the midi length makes me feel very much in my comfort zone. Capes are going to be one of the biggest fashion trends this autumn winter. So when I spotted this green cape sleeve dress, I thought it would make a great investment piece. Not only for the summer season, but looking ahead as well. It's been made from 100% viscose and one of my favourite things, aside from those cape sleeves, is this structured waistband that fits like a glove. Styling wise, I would probably add black accessories with this one, but if you're feeling brave and you happen to have a pair of neon pink heels and matching clutch in your wardrobe, I love the idea of a colour clash with this. Now these dungarees are a bit of a bestseller for whistles. I've noticed they've been uh, restocked a couple of times on their website throughout the season. However, I would say I don't really think they're for me. I do like dungarees, but I think I personally need a slightly more fitted shape, whereas these are definitely on the oversized end of the scale. Next up, I headed to the Reese section for a little try on dangerously finding far too many pieces I would happily add into my wardrobe. Now if you're wanting to upgrade your loungewear, opting for cashmere is of course an elevating option. And this hooded top caught my eye because of that beautiful soft pink tone. It's just that sort of shade you'd buy for a newborn baby with the softness of that wool and cashmere really shining through. By the way, if you're not already subscribed, it'd be really lovely if you'd like to do so. And at the end of this video, you can follow the link in the description box below to find my daily outfit ideas over on Instagram as well. Now, if I'm going to do color, I will happily do it in anything seafoam. That deliciously pale green shade that of course conjures up images of the ocean. The main feeling I get with a dress like this is just how timeless it is. Something that Reese in particular do so incredibly well with all of their dresses. I just think it's a lovely take on the sorbet trend this season that would be perfect for summer parties. Another speciality of Reese would be their trousers. Whenever I'm looking for something a little more tailored and polished, Reese would always be high up on my hit list to have a look. This pair have been made from a blend of linen and sustainable lyocell. You've got that lovely pleat detailing down the front, pockets and a hook and zip fastening at the waistband. I'd like these as an everyday type of trouser that I'd probably dress down with flats or trainers, but they're absolutely polished enough to dress up for the office as well. Have I told you lately that I love a good blazer? Well, just in case you missed it, it's probably my number one piece I would always have in my capsule wardrobe. And this little beauty has been made from a linen blend with contrasting lapel and a tailored fit. 
You could of course size up if you wanted something a little more boyfriend shape, but I'm actually quite liking the structure of this one. I was actually keen to try on Reese's camel blazer, but I got a bit sidetracked when I spotted this neutral one. Unlike the twill camel version, this one has been made from an interesting mix of wool, linen and viscose. I must admit it didn't feel like wool at all. It felt very fresh, summer, just perhaps more heavyweight that it would cross over well for autumn too, which is always a good idea. It's a tough one actually, choosing a favourite between the two blazers, but I would say this version would probably be the most versatile as I can imagine mixing and matching it into outfits in all the seasons really. Then I hopped on the tube and headed to and other stories and very quickly came across this very cute little cardigan. It's actually quite deceiving in this footage because this is cream rather than the soft pink that it looks on camera. Um, I'm in two minds on this one. I love that sweetheart neckline. I think that's really different and those puff sleeves. However, I think it needs to be tighter across the chest to really get the benefit of that shape. And then if you went smaller, it would become even more of a crop top. So for that reason, I would say it's not for me. However, I think it's a really cute piece that would look lovely on somebody else who's more comfortable with their own tummy. But this next cardigan was definitely much more my cup of tea in terms of its length. In fact, I didn't buy it on this shopping trip, but since linking everything for this video, I've noticed it's come down to £21 in the sale, so 62% off, uh, so I'm going to purchase that now. Now I'm styling that little pink cardigan with their straight, relaxed, high-waisted jeans. Uh, they're made from organic cotton and retail at £65. My favourite pair of jeans at And Other Stories is ironically called the favourite cut. I find them much more flattering. These are probably a little bit too high-waisted for me, a little bit too much of a wide leg. And Other Stories do do very pretty dresses, it has to be said. I've bought quite a few from them over the years. Um, and I found this one in store, although annoyingly I can't seem to find it online after the event. However, I did find a couple of really similar linen midi wrap dresses online at the moment, so I shall link those in the description box below. I do try and keep an eye on their website regularly because they always have a dress or two that I want to add to basket. Talking of which, here is another midi dress, this time more of a traditional wrap shape, obviously the tie belt on the side of the hip. I don't know if you remember recently I bought that lovely midi dress in the blue ditzy floral uh, fabric which I've worn so many times since I got it. This dress really reminds me of that and it's actually available in a blue shade as well so personal choice really whether you fancy a big bright pop of colour for summer or maybe something a bit more on the pastel end of the scale. I love this next dress, which is a printed puff sleeve linen midi, made in that very soft, very feminine pink floral fabric. Now again, like I mentioned before, this would be the sort of style I would size down in because of that smocking across the chest, you want it to fit quite nice and tight. So I sized down in this one and I think it works nicely in terms of the fit. More puff sleeves, can you see there's a bit of a running theme going on in today's shopping trip? At this time with a little blouse that I found. Um, this one's actually just gone into the sale, so it's down from 45 pounds to 28 pounds if you do like it as well. It's been made from organic cotton. I really like the pretty detail on it. And obviously you could wear that off the shoulder as much as wearing it on. It's been a while since I've popped into store at H&M, but I'm really loving their collection this spring summer. So it was nice to be able to get into the actual shop and try on some pieces. I've mentioned this blazer a couple of times in my videos, so it was nice to see it in real life, feel the quality and obviously try it on. I think it's just a really affordable option for a classic summer staple. Then I found what I think is a really, really lovely oversized trench coat um, made from an interesting mix of hemp and cotton. I'm kind of kicking myself actually because I didn't buy it and thought, oh, I'll think about it, buy it online later. And now there is only the medium and the large left. So if that is your size and you like it too, I would jump on that straight away. I'm on the hunt for a navy blazer for my capsule wardrobe as I don't actually have one and I seem to be preferring navy rather than black at the moment. Uh, so I thought this might be a good option. 
Sadly, I didn't originally spot there's quite a lot of polyester in this one, 80% uh, in fact, and just 20% viscose. So this one's probably not for me as it's not exactly sustainable. However, I do really like the color, the fit, and that oversized shape. This next dress really stood out in store. It's a blend of linen and lyocell in this very, very pale yellow tone. It's a very simple dress, but elegant at the same time. I think the only thing missing from this one is a beautiful sunny beach. A very basic piece now in this shop with me, but equally something that I probably wear an awful lot as loungewear, just a great pair of cotton joggers. I went for a medium as I wanted to make sure they'd be quite long in the leg. I really dislike joggers when they come up too short. So in terms of fit and sizing, I would say go one up. I really hope you've enjoyed this shop with me at H&M and of the stories Reese and Whistles. And most importantly, that it's given you lots of good ideas about what's on the high street at the moment. Hopefully you agree, some really beautiful pieces and I would love to hear your favourites in the comments section below. I'll be back next Sunday with lots more outfit ideas and styling advice, so hopefully you will join me then. Have a great week everyone.